Hello everyone and welcome back to Shri FC. I hope you all are well and good. That's the biggest priority for me. So I hope you all are well and good. And if you like, do hit the like button and subscribe. It really means a lot. But my biggest priority is to give my opinions and for you all to be well and good. Today, I'm discussing about Arsenal. And see, before I start, Arsenal fans watching, I'm a Chelsea fan. But I'm very unbiased on every opponent team. And Arsenal are team you can see in my history in the previous videos. I've been jealous, but overall, I've been really clapping their windows and what they're doing. Because I think Arsenal are getting ignored. I think Chelsea fans, I think some of United fans and Tottenham fans, they cannot digest that the Arsenal are right now being an ambitious club, which is doing very well. And I think that's coming in between the opinions. And I think many people are not understanding what the job Arsenal are doing this window and how changed they are as a football club. And I think Arsenal are just really doing well. And I think Arsenal are the most stable team right now in the league, even more than Manchester City. And I think if there's any any team which is going to dethrone Manchester City this season, I think Arsenal are the most closest, followed by Liverpool. And Arsenal are just so good. They are just so good the way they are building. Last season, for me, I've been telling people on my channel for a long time, if there's a team I wanted to watch play football, it was not Manchester City, it was Arsenal. I love watching Arsenal. Even as a rival, they were playing some of the most sincere inning football in the league. Watching Bukayo Saka play, as a, even as a rival, I love him to bits. He's such a good professional, such a good human and such a good player to watch. Martinelli, I, I remember the goal scored when they can't take fall, but overall Martinelli is a fantastic player. Gable Jesus is one of the most nonsense strikers you will see. He might not have your big 25-30 goal stat, but he's one of the most dangerous strikers in the league. Odegaard is a player I've been watching for Real Madrid days and the talent this guy had and now finally he's relishing it under Mikel Ateta. What a damn player he is. And then watching Thomas Partey and Xhaka really just control the midfield. Nobody expected them to but they were one of the best pairing in the midfield. And Saliba and Gable being one of the best centre-back pairings. Ben White having such a good season at right back. And then Zinchenko attackingly doing so well at left back. And then Ramsdale proving all his doubters wrong. So last season, where Arsenal came short, we all know, was a depth. When Saliba got injured, I think they sadly had holding who I respect, but he's not good enough. And Arsenal just slowly plummeted, plummeted, plummeted. And also, they're a young squad, so they do not have the experience and they fell off. But the season was still very good. Now, we have seen Arsenal under Kronke that whenever they have a good season, they don't invest heavily. And that's why they always stay at that level or go down. For the first time, many people, like even as a Chelsea fan, I was thinking, I still doubt Kroenke. I still think Kroenke might not put too much money into the club and Mikel Arreta might be frustrated. Arsenal this window have shown everyone that they're serious. They're not going for the top four. They are going for the winning the Champions League, going to win the Carabao Cups, FA Cups. And now the Premier League, they're building the depth now. And when last year they could not rotate, uh, they could had to play a weak, weak squad in the FA Cup, Carabao Cups. Now they have a very good team. They literally have a B team. If you go to the whole Arsenal squad right now, you got Ben White and Tumi as the right back position. Timber can play as right back. Centre backs, you have Gable, Saliba, Timber, and even Ben White can play there. Kivi or is there. You have got left back right now, Tierney and Zinchenko. Ramsdale is a goalkeeper, and goalkeeper can play mostly every game. If Thomas Partey stays, Rice and Partey is going to be nonsense to deal with. Like even as a rival, Stamford Bridge, Rice and Partey. That is going to be tough to deal with. And then they've got experience of Jorginho there in the Champions League, especially if you play Jorginho with a player like Partey in the Champions League games, I think Jorginho can literally play at his best. Partey doing the defensive work and Jorginho being given the freedom and the space to do his thing. And then you've got Martin Odegaard. You've got Kai Havertz, who is such a versatile player. He can sometimes play instead of Saka. He can sometimes play instead of Odegaard. Sometimes Arsenal can even change the formation and play 3-2-4-1 or a 4-3-3 with both Odegaard and Havertz to break a team down. And they have an option on the bench to bring on. They have Reese Nelson now with Saka at the right side. They have Martinelli and Trossard. They have Jesus and Enkitia. And I think they can easily rotate the squad and still be very competitive. And they are building a very, very good team. Now they have at least two players of good ability fighting for a particular position. And I think Arsenal are really ready to go this season. And I think many people have been going ignorant on Arsenal. They'll fall off. Kronkers are not ambitious. Kronkers have no desires. Arsenal had just one lucky season. Arsenal, like always, will falter. I think that is very wrong. I think if Arsenal in this window did not invest, if Arsenal this window, let's say Kronke said, oh, I'm not paying 105 for Declan Rice, let me get some 30-40 million midfielder, I would have come on this video and said, guys, Mikel Arreta will leave Arsenal in one or two years and Arsenal is not a threat. But now, Kronkers have spent the money and they have rightly spent the money. Now, Arsenal squad is looking very good squad, not just a team, not just an 11, a squad. I think Arsenal are going to be a massive threat to all the teams in the future. 
And I think with how young their squad is, Saka, Martinelli, Saliba, Gabriel, he's as a striker is still young, Ramsell as a goalkeeper is young, Ben White is young, Tomiyasu is young, Timber is young, they've literally got Rice who is one of the future leaders in the team, Odegaard, Harvest and I can just keep going on and on and on and this video could go for an hour, I think Arsenal right now are doing a splendid job they're not just sorted for the present they're sorted for the future and once they keep adding on one one player every window like what manchester city did i think this team is like we like it or not until they collapse in the final moments this team is eventually going to win the premier league in one or two years if they don't do it then i think question have to be asked on michael because michael Ateta, a person i doubted has really slapped me in the face and did a fantastic job and I think where Arsenal have reached right now is a massive credit to Mikel Ateta on how he has trimmed down the score, made these young players a men and also got this team playing like absolutely unified bunch and not getting bullied and instead being the bullies. This Arsenal team is absolutely fantastic but now Mikel Ateta has done the rebuild and now he has to win the Premier League or a Champions League in at least next two years. Otherwise what he has built, next phase might be required and Mikel might not be good enough and we can only see this by next two seasons but right now Mikel Adada is really doing one of the most imaginary transformative job you'll see and I think Mikel Adada has done something incredible and I think I cannot see this Arsa side not win the Premier League at least in next two years they will win at least one whether we like it or not I think Arsa will win a major trophy in the next two years and Champions League is still one of the most toughest competition it's a knockout so I see Arsenal with Manchester City, Bernardo Silva going, Gundogan going and I cannot see them keep this treble and everything going on and going on. Motivation has some time will go and I think Arsenal will eventually win the league. They are more settled than Liverpool, United, Chelsea and they are eventually going to win the league. And if they don't then questions will have to be asked but I think Arsenal right now the most ready made squad to go and win the league in now I'm not saying next year but in the next two years. So fantastic job done by Kronkes, Arteta especially, Ed who is criticised and Arsenal are doing a massive massive job. And the last but not the least I'm saying the biggest indicator of Arsenal being serious club is extending the contract of Saliba Martinelli Saka. Previous Arsenal teams used to sell their young prospects for big money. This Arsenal team is keeping their young prospect at good wages so that they stay at Arsenal and be the future. Has a rival, I'm jealous, but I can only say Arsenal are an example of how to run a football club, how to compete with Manchester City, how to really run as a football club. And I think, I know people are not going to like it, but I think in the next two or three years, it's going to be Manchester City. Arsenal and Chelsea fighting for Premier League. I think we are building a young squad and I think just like Arsenal will have a very good period in next two to three years but till then it's gonna be City and Arsenal. Thank you everyone for watching. Please do hit the like and subscribe and please support the channel and also do put your opinion. Do you agree with me and what's your opinion regarding Arsenal and whether they are being ignored or I'm being too much like praising them. So whatever you have please put in the comment section. Thank you everyone. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.